Going to court can be a stressful experience, particularly for children who find themselves in family court. Well, now the Rhode Island judiciary is trying a new way to ease their anxiety, therapy dogs. Iowa's News reporter Kim Kalunian gives us an up-close look at the program. It's new at 6. Kim? Well, Mike and Shannon, this all-volunteer program started in the Washington County Courthouse back in March as a two-month-long pilot, but it was so successful, it's been extended indefinitely. Now they're giving it a tri trial run at Kent County Courthouse in Warwick, and they have ideas for how it might expand in the future. A wagging tail, a smiling face. Oh, that's a good boy. And let's not forget a good belly rub. They're all on offer as part of a new pilot program using therapy dogs at Family Court in Warwick. People who come to Family Court are generally not here for a happy reason. So people here are generally um, under a lot of stress and uh, it seemed like a nice thing to try uh, to get people to relax a little bit and it seems to be working. We've gotten such rave reviews. Linda Jones is on the advisory board of the Windwalker Humane Coalition for Professional Pet Assisted Therapy. So when her husband, family court magistrate Paul Jones, started researching the benefits of dogs in court, she knew how to make it happen. <laughs> now the dogs are in both Washington and Kent County courthouses two days a week, easing anxiety for those heading into court proceedings. I just had a conversation with one of the therapists about a gentleman who looked uh, like he was really having a hard time. And when he saw the dog, he, it was an aha moment. And that, that's typical of what we're seeing. This seems to be a really uh, friendly, positive uh, event taking place in our hallways. And that's not something that we typically see. And it's, it's a nice thing to see. And court spokesman Craig Berkey says they did consider the cons, including what might happen if a dog had an accident in the hallway. But he said Windwalker is fully insured and there have been no problems. Now, Jones says they're looking to add more days when the dogs will visit, and they're even considering expanding to Veterans Court. Live in studio, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.